What's the difference between philology and linguistics? So linguistics did originally evolve out of philology. Philology was, and still kind of is, the study of literary texts, especially kind of manuscripts and ancient texts. Um, this was a big thing during the Middle Ages. People were interested in what classical writers had to say. So they would do all this kind of manuscript study and literary commentary and criticism on these ancient texts. But as they were studying them, they started to discover that some of the linguistic details of the texts. So they learned, for example, that it looked like Latin and Sanskrit were related. And William Jones in 1783, I believe, was kind of the first to publish uh, about like, well, these languages are actually look like they're related. It looks like, all, you know, these go back to some common ancestor. And so that got people very, very interested in doing historical linguistics and reconstructing, you know, how older languages used to look based on modern languages. And in order to do that, of course, they had to figure out a lot of linguistics. They had to figure out how sound change happened. They had to figure out, you know, grammatical structures and things like that. And so that kind of like birthed the modern field of linguistics. But linguistics today is the scientific study of human language. So we study how language works, how it uh, is learned by children and by adults, how language evolves over time, how language affects cognition and cognition affects language, how social factors affect language change and language usage, things like that. So linguistics today is really a scientific study, whereas philology these days tends to be seen as more humanistic. It's more kind of textual criticism and textual studies. It's worth pointing out though that there was a tradition of linguistics. I mean, there's always been people interested in language and linguistics going all the way back to, you know, Panini in India and some of the early writers in ancient Greek and Rome and Greece and Rome. But the European discovery of the Americas was also a huge boost to interest in linguistics and languages. Uh, so you had um, priests in the Catholic Church, so especially Dominican and Franciscan and Jesuit priests that were interested in trying to, um, you know, preach to the masses, the natives that they found in the Americas. And to do this, they thought they should do it in their language. So they started studying the indigenous languages of the Americas and producing like Spanish and Catholic catechisms and other sorts of religious texts and grammars. They produced grammars and dictionaries of these languages. So here in like the early 1500s, like 1400s, you had priests that were actually like documenting these languages and really kind of spurred on interest in language and linguistics in a way that really hadn't happened before. And for the most part, they weren't interested in philology. They were just trying to convert the masses. So um, yeah, the, the histories of linguistics and philo philology are sometimes intertwined, but also sometimes very separate.